Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posted by our Facebook fans. Today's Ask Bob question comes from Giannis Sonsgaard. Giannis asks, how do I add clouds to a picture like this in a realistic way? Well, let's give it a try. I went ahead and downloaded your picture from Flickr. Thanks for posting it there. It's always very helpful to have real pictures from users to show them exactly how to achieve this effect. So I've downloaded your picture and I've opened it up in Photoshop Elements and now we're going to go add some clouds. So the first thing we want to do is make a new layer. So over here on the right we have our layers panel. If it happens to be hidden like this, just come down to the bottom and click this layers icon and that'll open up the layers panel. This little icon right here is our new layer icon. Click that and we'll get a new blank layer. Make sure it's selected, so it's selected when it's blue like this. And then under the filter menu, come down to render clouds. Select that. And Photoshop Elements will automatically go and render a bunch of cloud-like pixels in that new blank layer. Now, of course, it's completely obliterated your photo. Your photo hasn't been changed. It's still here in the background. It's just completely covered up by this new cloud layer. And the way we fix that is to hide some of these pixels with a layer mask. So with this layer selected, this little icon here is my Add Layer Mask icon. Just click that, and I'll get a new layer mask added. Uh, if you're not familiar with layer masks, they're very powerful. Anywhere I paint with white on a layer mask, the pixels from that layer show, and anywhere I paint with black on a layer mask, the pixels from that layer are hidden. So if I just come over here, make sure my foreground color is set to black, grab a brush, and just start painting. As you can see, as I paint on the layer mask where I paint with black, it's essentially transparent. So the layer underneath shows through. So with that, I will just paint on the layer mask where the building is and back and forth until I get rid of all the clouds. Kind of do that, something like that. If uh, I need to sort of focus on the clouds, I can hide this background layer of the building and just come in here and really see where I'm hiding the clouds or where I'm showing the clouds. Let me show my building again. Let's zoom in a little bit, maybe to the top of the building. There we go. And grab our brush and keep painting around the building to get it to show. So the beauty of painting with layer masks or, or showing or hiding bits of my image with a layer mask is that if I make a mistake, right? If I overpaint and paint a little extra black around the top of the building where I don't want it, if I want to bring those clouds back, I just switch from black to white and paint with a white brush and it'll paint back in the clouds. Right? I'm not actually painting on the pixels of those clouds. I'm painting on that layer mask to either show them or hide them. So with a little bit of work I can show and hide parts of my image. If I've got you know, sort of a, a spot like this where I've got a very straight line I can click with my brush, uh, move my brush to a new location, hold the shift key down and it'll paint a straight line between those two positions. So with just a little bit of work, I can get the clouds off of the building, unless that's the look you're going for. I'm not sure exactly which look you're going for, but uh, I'm just going to assume that we want the clouds in the sky and not actually on the building. And you can see over here I kind of painted a little too much black, so again, switch back to white. Paint some down here right on the edge, hold my shift key down, put my brush up here, and click and it will paint between those two spots in a straight line. So pretty quickly I can get my clouds in the sky and not on top of the building. Double click on the hand will shrink it down. Oop, I missed a spot here. Back to my brush and oops, I'm painting with white instead of black. Again, black will hide that layer. White will show that layer. Okay, here we go. Now our clouds are off of our building. Now that doesn't look very realistic. I know you wanted them to look a little more real. So instead of having this layer just paint on those clouds that were automatically rendered using the cloud rendering filter, what I want to do is change the blending mode. So this will pull down right here is how we control our blending mode. And instead of normal, what I want to do is switch to overlay. 
And what that does is sort of a, a nice blending between the pixels of this layer and the pixels of the layer underneath. And you can try different blending modes. Uh, overlay is pretty good for this. If you don't want it quite so strong, uh, you could try soft light, and that'll give a more subtle blending. Uh, if you want it actually stronger, you can try hard light. Uh, that's actually not very natural looking. Uh, I actually prefer soft light, but give the different blending modes a try. Uh, find one that creates the effect that you're after, and now we've got some clouds in our sky. One more thing that I would actually do to this image to make it look uh, a little more realistic is take this cloud layer, drag and drop it on my new layer icon. So now I've got a duplicate of that layer. And back to filter, blur, radial blur. And my radial blur dialog will pop up and I can make various adjustments. This sort of grid thing here, what I would do is pull it down so the center, these two vertical, or this vertical line and this horizontal line, kind of pull that down to the bottom middle. The amount that you want to use will uh, depend on really the resolution of your image. Uh, I found that for your image here, about 50 is good. Uh, make sure zoom is selected, hit OK. And Photoshop Elements will apply a radial blur filter to just that cloud layer. Okay, now it's done. You can see we have a little different look. Let me hide that radial blur layer, right? Go ahead and show it. And as I toggle it back and forth, you can kind of see the different feel that it gives. It gives sort of these uh, sunshine rays uh, emanating from the center of your photograph. Uh, if we want those to be a little stronger, this layer's blending mode is set to soft light because that's what uh, our first layer was set to. We'll go ahead and change it to overlay and they're a little stronger, or if you want them even stronger, you could switch to hard light if you wanted something like that. I think I like the overlay amount best. And then I can play around with uh, the opacity of these two layers. Let me zoom in a little bit uh, to the top so we can see a little better what's going on here. If I want this uh, effect a little more subtle, I can tune down the opacity. If I want it stronger, I can keep it up at 100%. If I want the effect driven from this layer a little less strong, I can turn its opacity down. And I can mess around with both of these to just get exactly the look that I'm after. So hopefully that's what you were looking for when you asked about adding clouds to this image. Uh, I noticed uh, one other thing in the image here. There's some little smudges on your shot. Uh, let me hide my clouds temporarily. Right there's our original uh, on your image. What I would do to get rid of those, uh, unless you like them, but uh, I'd actually get rid of them, is use the healing brush and just come over here with the healing brush and paint over those real quick and we'll heal them right out of your image. It looks like this might have been a scan. Here's a couple over here with some water spots on it. Uh, so we can heal this old photo, get rid of the water spots, make it look interesting, bring our clouds back by turning those layers back on. Double click on the hand and there we go. Pretty cool image. Again, here's what we started with, which is a cool image in its own right. And with a couple extra layers with clouds, uh, we've got something that's much more dramatic. Hope that's what you were after. Take care.